Hi, it's Charity, and welcome back to the Tiny Town Challenge, a challenge in The Sims 4 by Deligracy and her website, and the rules will be linked in the description below in case you want to follow along. Now, we're just playing with Frank Stem here, and I've actually gone ahead and used almost all of his funds to build the exterior shell of his house. Now, this is by no means complete. It is only a shell, but we don't have any landscaping either. Frank Stem likes farmhouses, so we built him a farmhouse, and it's green, but it is vintage. It is not rustic or shabby because if you remember cyprus has the shabby farmhouse so his is a bit run down worn and lived in whereas frank stem likes the vintage look but not worn down so his farmhouse is nice and neat with fresh paint something that may have been restored but not still shabby so we have the upstairs and we actually have a lot of room upstairs compared to what we have in cypress's house there's just this tiny little hallway for you to be able to get to all of the rooms and the rooms are a little bit oddly shaped but that's the best that you can do with an upstairs with no hallway so we have three bedrooms upstairs and then we have one bathroom and I am going to do the roof line trick. So if you don't know about old farmhouses is that a lot of times they have this roof line that basically makes one of the rooms with a slanted in ceiling. And what I'm planning on doing is putting these doors up here eventually, but unfortunately I need to get some more money first. I don't have enough money for all of the doors. So this is going to be like a closet. It may not be accessible or functional, but I think it looks really, really nice. So I have the split roof on the outside so that there is a wall here. And then we have the bathroom right next door. So that's the upstairs for now. And then downstairs, we have a formal dining room with these sliding barn doors. So everything is basically walls up divided by walls and we have archways to kind of simulate a little bit of an open plan but it is definitely not open because that's that vintage look where everything is closed in so next to the formal dining room this will be a living room with the fireplace and we have a downstairs bathroom which will be like a guest bathroom or it might have a tub or shower in there i'm not sure yet and then this is the kitchen so the kitchen will probably not have a dining room table in it uh maybe i'll put a couple of seating spots but basically the formal dining room across the hall is where the sims will be eating and we have this nice big wraparound porch and we have a flower arranging table on the porch now, so we don't have to use the one that's in the community center. I don't have a bed yet. Um, I actually, whoops, left this over here. So we have a hamper now that I forgot to put in there. We'll put that somewhere around here. Maybe we'll have a washing machine and a dryer in here eventually. But for now, we'll just have to use the wash bucket and line outside and i know you're tired frank but let's just go harvest the plants it's about 2 30 a.m since it was new year's eve and we stayed awake to watch the new year's eve celebration but if we harvest the plants now we should hopefully have them again at 5 a.m we have to hurry up and harvest all of the plants before cypress gets them no cypress they're my plants okay you can spray for bugs that is perfectly acceptable but i get to harvest them oh look it's the welcome wagon um i thought i already had the welcome wagon oh i know why it is it's because i had to move him out and move him back in in order to build his house unfortunately when you're using for rent making changes is difficult when you have residential units 
Okay, this one is worth over 2,000 simoleons. It's a pristine masterpiece. Uh, can we scent with something? Okay, I think if we scent it with a bluebell, that it won't ever go bad. Yeah, timeless is the bluebell. Oh no, we have some toxic mold. Is someone going to clean that? Oh, it's because of the sink in here. That is gross. All right, got rid of the mold. Now let's go clean the sink. I don't know why he keeps ignoring the sink. He keeps wanting to do other cleaning jobs that don't matter. All right, we only made these two, but these two are worth a lot. So we're going to see how much we can sell them for. I think one of them is about 2,000 simoleons and the other one's about 1,600. So multiply that times four. All right, that's 14,000 simoleons. Yeah, Frank Stim is a little bit overpowered, especially if you use the selling table. It's just a little bit ridiculous. That's why I put all those restrictions on him. Lilith, what are you doing here? Well, Frank is going to be a gracious host. Whenever someone comes to his door, I'm going to invite them in, no matter how much I might regret it. Lilith is a vampire, which means vampires will be coming to my door asking to drink my plasma or not asking toxic mold again oh come on oh no everything is broken because of the ghost let me call cypress here okay the lily plant has the permanent weeds so what i do with the permanent weeds is i basically pretend the plant is going bad and I harvest one harvest so that I actually have some plants and then I'm going to uproot this plant and replant it and that gets rid of the weeds. Oh, he actually repaired both of them. That was quick cypress. Maybe it's because his handiness is so high, but it seemed like he was only looking at the toilet and then all of a sudden both of them were fixed. Oh, Ian is asking us out on a date. Uh, well, sure. Although he asked us out to the island bluffs. I guess that's okay since Frank actually likes the outdoors. Honestly, Frank needs some friends because he just doesn't have any friends. I don't know why, but no one is at friendship level with him. They're all acquaintances. Now it's a little cold here, so I don't want to go swimming, even though that would be pretty cool. So we're going to cozy up by the bonfire. I think that's a little bit safer. I don't want to kill either one of them. Okay, Ian is supposedly active. Um, I don't know, Ian. Your figure just doesn't strike me as someone who is active. Okay, I would like our friendship level to be at least friends. Okay, and he likes optimistic sims. Sure, I guess he's optimistic. Well, he had a nice time, so maybe he'll call us. Okay, oh, he's a bookworm. I don't see why that makes him cheerful. Well, all we have are the two flower arrangements from yesterday, so we'll try and sell those. All right, we sold those and we're up to 20 grand. Oh, look who's here. Ian is supposedly our neighbor. I didn't know that. I thought you lived in San Sequoia. He got us a postcard. Okay, that's nice. Not sure I'm in the mood to be romantic, though, because I'm really uncomfortable. Let's try throwing up in the toilet. Oh, no, there's a cursed book somewhere. I hate this one because I can never find the book, or at least I think about half the time I don't find the book, and it means I have to cheat to get the stupid thing to go away. Oh no, it's just upstairs. That's easy. All right, should we mail it away or destroy it? If we destroy it, we become cursed. If we mail it away, it might come back. Well, we'll destroy it, because I don't think Frank would pass on his... A misfortune to someone else he's a nice guy that means unfortunately we might be starting fires all right we were able to make four flower arrangements today but they're all normal although this one says pristine and masterpiece despite the quality being normal that's kind of weird 
All right, finally we sold one. We only have three left, but I think we're not going to sell any more before it's time for bed. Oh, now they're selling. The first yard sale, I didn't sell a single one. Now this one, all of them sold. It's just random. I hate how that happens. I haven't changed the markup. It's always been 300%, and sometimes they will sell immediately, and sometimes they won't sell at all. Well, it's the middle of the night, and a ghost has broken a sink. Sorry, Cypress, but I kind of need you to come fix it. Uh, hey, Frank. Jade Rosa has asked me out on a date. Should I say yes? I thought we were going out. Why do Sims do this? I don't know why they do this. If you are asked out by someone, why would you ever go and ask someone else you're dating whether or not you should date that person? Maybe he's trying to see if Frank wants to take it to the next level. I'm going to tell him to think about it himself. Poor Frank, our only friend in the world who we have a romantic interest in is deciding to date other people. So depending on whether or not that has a fortunate outcome or unfortunate outcome, we may or may not be dating Ian again. Oh, wait. We got a fire? No! Alright, this must be because I'm cursed. Put out the fire, Frank. Hurry up. Put out the fire. Stop talking to Cyprus. Well, we are going to have to replace that. Well, never mind. It's in the common area. Because I think what happens is... Oh, we got a hundred simoleons. We should replace it. Because we set it on fire. It was our fault since we're cursed. No, Frank, don't get water. Why do Sims get water? You don't need water. Most people, yes, they do need water, but um, Sims don't actually have a hydration need unless you're a mermaid and you broke the sink. Great. Oh, no, he's already here. Just go ask him to fix it. Although he's washing his clothes, he might not be able to be asked to fix it because he's washing his clothes yeah we'll have to wait till he's done oh it just auto fixes when he inspects it that is really weird well cypress since you fixed the sink i will hang your laundry out on the line instead of leaving it in the bucket where you left it oh look who's here ian's here um ian did you decide to go out with her or not let me ask him if he's still single Okay, he is single. Okay, he's an author. He doesn't like gardening, though. So, maybe he's not the best fit. Okay, we have two friends now. Cypress and Ian. Now, unfortunately, I accepted the maker trait, but that only applies to the woodworking table, the candle making station... And maybe the juice making station? Or oh, the fabricator. Uh, well, we might have to pick up a small hobby. Alright, so Frank is not going to make any money with candles. But maybe he'll make a couple of candles for around his place. I mean, no one says you can't pick up the other skills. It's just that you're not supposed to make money with them. And Frank's workshop is just going to be out on his porch. So anything that he has that he wants to make, maybe I'll line it with plants too. That actually would be a good idea if I could get some flower pots along here. I probably should move all of these plants over to his patio. Maybe I'll put a woodworking station over here and I'll actually craft the pots. Because he needs to make something, I think, at least once every day or every other day, since he's a maker. Well, here comes Ian again. Ian, why are you hanging out? I mean, tell me whether or not you went out with that person. I would like to know. You can't ask him, though. You have to wait until he calls you and tells you. Uh, are you going to our house? I've started a yard sale. Okay, we'll go invite you again, but it's 11.20. Why are you coming over so late? All right, back to my yard sale then. Well, apparently Frank likes him because he keeps autonomously doing romantic socials. 
Um, why are you talking about marriage? That's probably a bad idea, but let's just see how it goes, especially since he's in a conversation with Sarah. Uh, it might not work, though. I'm tending the table. I have found that I, it's bugged. When I try tending the table and I try talking to people, it'll queue up the conversation and it just never goes through for whatever reason. I cannot talk to people while I'm tending the table. Oh, no, it went through. Oh, Ian was not happy about that. Okay, I'm kind of thinking that we might have to find someone else. Ian is not the one for us. Frank just keeps trying, though. He's trying to flirt with them still. All right, everyone go home now. Oh, you broke my shower, ghost. Where's Cypress? No, what are you doing? No, what are you doing? I think I accidentally called to move out. I did not want to do that. Okay, Ian's date with Jade Rosa went very well. So I guess Ian is off the table now. Okay, the only two Sims in the game that like outdoors and are single are Michael Bell and Don Gooseman. But Don Gooseman's not showing up, so it's just Michael Bell. Okay, if I enthuse about gardening with Michael Bell, is he going to like it? He should, but I'm not sure. He likes the outdoors. He's an animal th enthusiast. He doesn't like video gaming, but he likes painting. Oh, he's a loner. And he's a space ranger at space. Why? Why? Why are you a space ranger? That doesn't make any sense. Oh, Don Gooseman was here. He was just swimming somewhere? Where did you go swimming? I mean, there's a pond back here, but I don't think you could go swimming in it. Oh, you can actually swim in the little lake here. Okay. For some reason, he was just swimming. Weird. And today is love day. We'll see who asks us out first. Is Ian going to ask us out? Or is Michael? We might have to convince Michael to change his job, though. He should not be a space ranger if he... Well, I guess it is considered an outdoor career. It's kind of weird, though. I don't think of someone who is an outdoor enthusiast and a loner. Well, maybe a loner, but an animal enthusiast and loves the outdoors being a space ranger. Oh, right. I forgot I have to mop up here. There are dust bunnies and dust everywhere. I completely forgot about the upstairs I made. Okay, Michael's asking us out on a date first, so I guess we go out with Michael. Seriously, though, Michael, you asked us out on a date to a studio bar where we can't even get in. All right, well, if there's a bouncer, we can try and ask him if we can get in. Uh, okay, now he wants to go to the Blue Velvet, because this date ended automatically for some reason. Yeah, that happens sometimes. Yeah, I think we should go somewhere else. The Blue Velvet sounds nicer than this place that we can't get into. Hopefully the same thing doesn't happen here, though. Maybe he has to work right now. I think that's why he keeps leaving. Well, I think it's safe to say that we have enough money to finish Frank's house. I mean, 49,000 simoleons. I think we're going to try and focus on gardening now. More toxic mold. Okay, where is it? Oh, our refrigerator is broken. We have to call Cypress again. Oh, it is actually an electrical failure thing. So, yeah, this is different than a normal break. This is an event. But we're going to make Cypress fix everything. Oh, he gave us some eggs and some milk and also some spicy mushrooms. Oh, look who it is. It's Ian. He's angry for some reason. Um, he's insulting us. Okay, Ian, maybe we should just be friends then. Calm down, Ian. Okay, Ian, I think you should go home now before we get anything else started. Okay, every day we will make a garden pot and plant a snapdragon because we need lots of snapdragons in order to get dragon fruit and snapdragon, make a cowberry, 
and we need a cow plant berry for the aspiration eventually. Cypress, this is not a community lot item. I thought that if you assigned your porch to your unit, that people wouldn't come over and use your stuff. I guess that's not true. Well, we should expand the community lot area and give it some things that Cypress should have had before he started out. Maybe a woodworking table. And we should actually expand this whole thing to have a greenhouse for the cook because the cook is going to need to grow a lot of plants for their food since this is simple living. And I think we might also give Frank a greenhouse. Um, I'm not sure if he needs it though because he really doesn't have that many plants that he needs to grow. Maybe we'll just make the greenhouse a community space uh, because he has some space on his porch for potted plants and I don't see him needing a whole bunch. He will need a whole bunch in order to get all of the spliced plants for his aspiration and in order to get a cowberry for the cow plant if we don't find one at the Finchwick Fair. So sometimes at the Finchwick Fair there are rare plants and rare things for sale and if you catch a cow plant berry or actually we could go fishing we should just go fishing and get one because to be honest grafting it and getting it is a pain come on we need to level up in our gardening skill just one level all right there we go and now we can get super green thumb now if these plants would just grow faster and she has a cow plant berry well, we're just going to buy it. I don't have to go fishing. Oh, she has an orchid. Oh, that is so awesome. It's a thousand simoleons, but hey, a growing one is a pain. And the uncommon seed packets are a thousand simoleons a pop. So, hey, I'm going to get it. Okay, Snugs is a jumpy troublemaker sleuth. Do we want to adopt Snugs? He's so cute. What do you want, Vlad? I'm not asleep. That's not my front door. Why are you there? Well, that's the end of the week. So we'll put some things into Frank's place next time. And we'll actually have furniture probably finish off his house. And then we'll start working on his aspiration. We still need to graft onto three plants. The problem is, for some reason, the plants are not growing. And so if they don't get big enough for me to graft onto, I can't do anything with them. And I don't want to graft onto spinach or something that is actually growing. I want to graft onto this dragon fruit thing that won't grow. So this is Charity. Thanks for watching. <laughs>